Well, I'm a girl from the shadows and dark forests. I'm from a place where there is almost nothing but forests, lakes. During the winter you see the whole Milky Way when you go outside and then many times you see Aurori. It's extremely beautiful. And I've um, never really uh, gotten used to living in a city. That is why I'm always seeking to be in the nature. I am even anxious to be inside and in the office. My biggest dream since um, a child has been to understand astronomical objects. Then I have focused uh, most of my career in understanding the sun. Early years of the humankind, the sun, it was the source of light and life. It was uh, in the position of a god. But nowadays, uh, the sun is now also harmful for the humankind. We have the climate change, we have the uh, solar storms that constantly cause a threat to our modern society. Me and the whole group um, of researchers who work here in Alta University, we, we really work at odd hours and odd times of the year. This is simply because supercomputers never sleep, but other people do. The more other people sleep, the more resources are available for us. So that is why we never have holidays in July, because everybody else has a holiday in July. Coding is not the only thing. You also need to know how to run your simulations to maximize the computing time you get. Aalto University or former Helsinki University of Technology Computer Science has a very strong world reputation, especially in machine learning. And it's of course quite a daunting task for a female professor to make something as great as these uh, professors done. Sometimes it's uh, difficult with your self-esteem in this situation where you have so little female colleagues. Both in physics and in computer science, there are very little female researchers and professors. Last year we had the, like a celebration because the first female student passed my course. It was a big thing for me. <laughs> my research with Lumi is concerning the sun's interiors. This is the place where all the storms originate because the magnetic field is generated deep inside, deep interior of the sun. It is a very long and complicated chain. So this is an extremely complex problem consisting of many different steps that we can gain understanding how solar magnetism is really. Why is it there and how is it generated and how does it cause these um, eruptive events? At the moment with Lumi, we are reaching the realm where the numerical simulations have enough realism that they are capable of, first of all, exciting the magnetic fields, reproducing the general behavior of the global magnetism and um, also what we see on the surface. We are now making extremely good progress thanks to this um, uh, Lumi-type resources. As a person who is in the cross-section of astronomy and computer science, the computer scientist in me has different type of passions to the astronomer. The computer scientist in me wants to utilize these new technologies to make this kind of um, radically new methods for computing so that we would not need to use so much energy and resources. So. And my computer scientist dream is to develop all more powerful and efficient algorithms that we can then uh, sustainably run in Lumi-like supercomputers. The dream for a solar scientist is to also help the society and the humankind to mitigate the harmful effects of the sun. A very important line of our research is to use our numerical simulations to make predictions of future solar activity on the base weather time scale, that is like hours, days, weeks, but then also on the time scales of space climate, so on tens of years or even hundred years. Uh, the lack of sunlight was really strongly affecting my life as a kid. Finland is the land of the midnight sun. 
during the summer, but then during the winter, it's a, a land of eternal darkness. When we have this beautiful, um, full of light nights, then Finnish people do not really sleep at all. During the summer, we kind of revive and charge our batteries.